It's all going to be about polymers today, and maybe Jeff Stevenson from the Imagination Station explain just why they're thermodynamic. Okay, so polymers are kind of this uh, buzzword right now, and uh, if you don't know what they are, a really simple polymer is some plastic. So a two liter bottle is a polymer. The plastic is a top type of polymer. So okay. I kind of have a question for you, Chris. What do you think happens when we heat up a polymer? What do you, th you think is gonna happen? I, I'm one would think it would melt. It would melt? That's, it would melt. But, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say science is hopefully going to take us beyond this it, where polymers won't melt. Where polymers won't melt. Okay, so what I have brought is I brought some boiling water, and I'm going to hand this to you, and I want you just to kind of pour it over and around this uh, this two liter, and okay. we're going to heat it up, and I'm going to so hold it So it doesn't necessarily, not inside, correct? Uh, you can do it inside if you want. Okay, I just... Yeah, just get it all around there. So uh, as a meteorologist, I was kind of wondering, is Chris going to say, will it expand? Because hot air expands, uh -huh. right? It moves, things like that. Um, but it actually, as you can see, it's not expanded at all. That's probably pretty good, right? Okay. All right, you can go ahead and set that down. And as compared to like, you know, a normal uh, two liter, you can see that it actually shrank, right? Sure did. So we have kind of a shrunken polymer here. And that doesn't make sense, right? Because as a meteorologist, you know, wait, hot air expands. Right. Why do hot polymers... Contract. Yeah, contract. That doesn't make mm -hmm. any sense. No, right? it doesn't. So um, I kind of have a model here. Uh, I have this long chain. And what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, the chains act a lot like polymers. So okay. I'm going to hold it up. This is very noisy. But um, I'm going to hold it up. And so if you were to microscopically look at one of these plastics, it would be a long connecting chain of MERS or polymers. So it would be a lot of different units all connected together. Okay. So if you want to pick up yours, I'm going to pick up mine. We're going to hold them like this. Okay. Now, this is kind of what it looks like under a microscope. And if we're going to add some temperature, add some energy, we're going to get it moving. Are you ready? Okay. So we're going to do this. So as you can see, we'll pause it for a second. As you can see, um, it starts out this long, and as we add energy to it, and it is just kind of fun too, right, to shake around right. a giant, really heavy chain, um, but it actually shrinks up. So. That's kind of like in a, a, a little model what's going on. Here. Okay. So we'll go ahead and set these down now. They're, they're really loud and kind of annoying. But what's uh, kind of a fun thing you should not do at home if you want to keep your microwave is you can put different things in there, like polymers, and add some energy to it. So these plastic bags have a a little aluminum coating in there, so it's gonna make a spark. Okay. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it in our microwave. This is, this, this is a fun thing to do if you have a scrap microwave you got from Goodwill. Do not do this at we, your parents' we, microwave at we've home. We've been forewarned, all right? Kids, okay. just turn your eyes right okay. now. <laughs> so there'll be a little spark. You probably won't be able to pick it up on the camera too well. But what'll happen Ooh. is after just a few seconds, you can see, Chris, I'll have you hold that up, what happens to our polymer here. So the bag is also made of plastic. And as you can see, we heated up those individual chains. They contracted, and you have a little mini diet Dorito bag, right? <laughs> so, you know, this is kind of a low calorie. Calories uh, 10. Yeah, exactly, right? If only I could shrink the text to be right. less calories, right? So, you know, maybe, maybe we'll try it again. We'll try it with like, like a few of them, right? That's fascinating. Put these in here. Oh, yeah. Just make sure you have a, a junker microwave. That's, right. That's the only thing. You really don't want to be doing this kind of thing. Excellent. And cooked. And, you know, even three of them together is kind of this conglomeration of Dorito mess. It's a little warm. Yeah. But not too bad, especially compared to the regular size. So that's kind of like some fascinating polymer science. You don't, you know, you don't usually get to see, you think polymers, we're going to be doing some boring lecture. But no, we're melting, not really melting, but uh, shrinking two liter bottles and uh, shrinking uh, plastic Dorito bags. Very cool, Jeff. You guys are always talking science down at the Imagination Station as well. Uh, yes. Mythbusters, a big thing that's been extended as well. It, Mythbusters has been extended, and what's a really cool opportunity right now is you can sign up for our little scientist workshops. Okay. The online registration just went up, so if you have a little scientist like kindergarten under and you want them to get involved in some cool science, maybe not microwaving stuff, but lots of other things like instant snow and a uh, really cool experience. You make it easy for little kids to learn. That's the cool thing. Make it fun. Definitely. Make it fun. Yeah, you make it fun, you make it easy. Those go hand in hand. All right, Jeff, thank you so much. Appreciate that. There's so much more. WTL 11, your day on your way. First, though, here's what to look at. We are working on for WTL 11 News.